so much for joining us here at 11 on 8 News Now. I'm Sasha Loftus. In less than 24 hours, two people have died on our valley roads. Last night, a driver hit and killed a man crossing the street near Cheyenne and Queen. Then earlier today, a deadly motorcycle crash on the I-15 had a busy stretch of that highway shut down for hours. And as traffic continues to increase across the valley, a local program is making sure young drivers are ready for what the road may bring. 8 News Now reporter Hector Mejia joins us live near DI in the 15 with more on this story. Hector. Sasha, Driver's Edge teaches new drivers a new set of skills, and they, it teaches them how to react in certain scenarios. And today, over 600 teenagers and their parents learned those new set of skills that might save their life one day on the road. I'm all right. I'm not the best. Not the worst. I've seen some people out here who definitely are. That's how 16-year-old Tristan Moore describes his driving. Just receiving his permit last spring, he's still shy behind the wheel. It worries me a lot. If I could wrap him in bubble wrap and make it okay, I, I would. But the best I can do as a parent is to ensure that he has the skill set given to him. Hundreds of teenagers expanded their skill set with a few simulations on the track. They'll throw water out onto the, uh, onto the track, and what you have to do is you have to um, try and correct yourself when the car goes out. Most people don't realize that car crashes are by far the number one killer of not just Nevada's youth, but America's youth as well. Driver's Edge puts teenagers and their parents in emergency situations that are not traditionally taught in Driver's Ed, according to the nonprofit's founder and CEO Jeff Payne. We're able to build the confidence of the kids that are a little timid and nervous, yet at the same time, we're able to give the kids that think they know everything a reality check. The Nevada Highway Patrol has another reality check to throw at drivers. That is reminding people that many serious injury and deadly crashes stem from seatbelt violations, impairment, speeding or distracted driving. Law enforcement can't do it all on their own. It comes down to personal responsibility where these drivers need to um, pay attention and do the right thing behind the wheel. Every week we continue to see uh, crashes where impairment is involved or speed is a factor. Moore watches out for those type of drivers on the road while still learning how to master the basics. Braking, that's, that's, a, that's another problem. I have it under control. Today's event was the final one of the year for Driver's Edge. We'll let you know as soon as they release their schedule of events for next year. Reporting live tonight, Hector Mejia, 8 News.